Thank you. Um, and I'm just curious for those that are, are watching aspiring actors, actresses, you know, those that are, are thinking about it or trying to make it, what do you say to them? I mean, you've... Um, Advice, what kept you... No, I know, what, I know what she means. Um, I think what you really, what you really want to say is that you have to act. This is really, when you're first starting out, is you have to act wherever you can. You can't be picky. You really have to act wherever you can and wherever you get a chance to act. And that might even be just in an audition room. This is something a teacher told me years ago, and he's right. Even if you're auditioning for something that you know you're never going to get, or you might have read it and you might not even have liked it, but you know that you have to go, that if you get a chance to act in a room that somebody else has paid rent for, then you're given a free chance to, to, uh, to practice your craft. And in that moment, you should act as well as you can, because if you leave the room or the theater or wherever you are and you've acted as well as you can, there's no way that the people who have watched you will forget it. And that's, that was something that somebody told me a long time ago, and I do think that's the only advice, because it's, it's always about that. It's always about the work at the end of the day. Everybody knows that. Absolutely. If I, show up to de if I show up to work one day and the work I'm doing isn't any good, I'm just a guy who's not acting well. <laughs> I mean, that's, I'm a guy who's not acting well. You know, and, that, and you're just always back to that moment. You're always back to that moment where you have to act as well as you can. And I would say to anybody starting out, it's like if you're given a chance to act, take those words and bring them alive. And if you do that, something will transpire ultimately.